Hey everyone, how are you doing? Team Nokia Power User here and uh, we welcome you all to the hands-on impressions or hands-on review of the latest Windows 10 Mobile Fast Ring build. Here we are talking about the build 14951 that Microsoft has pushed to Windows Insiders in Fast Ring and the build uh, has been really very tough to install for many. I mean, many, some may be lucky who, who escaped that dreaded 0% download bug, but most of us, even including us, have encountered that bug where uh, the download of the build has like kind has been stuck for day more than 24 hours at 0%. So now <laughs> there is a like a, there, is a, there is a working fix that we shared on Nokia Power User. So you can go and refer to that. Even Microsoft has shared four uh, alternative ways to fix that issue, and maybe either our fix or Microsoft's provided four fixes can work for you. So we were able to finally install the build 14951 on our devices. So now when we talk about uh, how the build we have, so we have not done any hard reset after installing and updating to 14951. So I mean, we just talked about installation experience. So uh, to be fair, it has been like one of the, uh, one of the most uh, awful experience I mean, waiting for the build to get installed for like or get downloaded for more than 24 hours is like, I mean, too bad. So there seems to be some kind of issue with the metadata. But now you can use any still you have to use some workaround. Still, the build cannot be updated to, uh, I mean, normally. So uh, if you talk about installation experience, we will just rate it very low. We will say that Microsoft certainly needs to improve because it's not acceptable even for a fast ring that you have to wait for an installation of the build for so long. So now cutting down on the rent, making it, I mean, keeping it short. So we will move on to how the real build behaves in real life. So if you talk about how the build behaves, once you upload it or down installed it, it really behaves well. We have not uh, seen many issues with the build. There is only one peculiar thing that we can note and we can show it to you. So like if you scroll here, so you can see that, I mean, there is some kind of, um, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, the, when you try to scroll, the list will kind of disappear for a moment. So it is something which we have noticed and you can notice it too. So I'm not sure that is uh, the same thing happens on others devices as well but on our device we are able to notice so if we try to scroll so i think uh, the co new code that is coming into these two builds like 14946 and 14951 is causing some bit of issue so if you try to scroll faster you see this but if you do it slowly it's okay but maybe some kind of impact now as we said so here you see the impact but uh, I mean, it's okay. So uh, the first thing you will notice will this kind of uh, behavior of uh, when you try to scroll the app list kind of it, it disappears for a moment. Yes. Now let's check how the navigation settings navigation etc works here. The trademark redstone smoothness is of course there. The settings they open really fast. And uh, we will talk about some unmentioned changes that we later shared. So we are not sure whether these changes were there on the last builds or not, but we noticed them on this after installing this build. So we'll share. So one change is that where you store offline maps is now available here. So you don't have to go to the offline maps uh, settings page from here. Earlier you used to do it, but now it's here. So that is one of the changes. We will uh, talk about other changes. So if uh, now we go to the privacy and we go to background apps, so there is one setting that has arrived and it, it is really good, really helpful. So you can actually choose whether you want, I mean, even one app to run in the background or you can disable all the apps from running in the background. So here you can individually choose whether you want an app, uh, want an app to run in background.
but if you want to disable everything in background disable every app run in the background you can just toggle it off and no apps now running in the background so hopefully microsoft does the same thing for multitasking so instead of dropping down the cards one by one there should be an option of doing it in mass anyway so now coming to this is one of the one of one of the uh, three unmentioned changes that we noticed so one was with the offline maps we saw this and another is very interesting and rather we can say that sorry it, it's something which has which microsoft has kind of brought back from windows phone 8.1 so if you see use cellular instead of wi-fi and restrict background data these two options used to be there and i think these were like nokia exclusive or lumia exclusive options which nokia uh, had uh, on lumia devices earlier with windows phone 8.1 so you can set whether you want to use cellular instead of wi-fi and restricting of background data and obviously one more so restrict background data while roaming so these three options were available on windows phone 8.1 taken away in threshold and restored one but now it seems they are back with redstone 2 so welcome back now as you can see the setting navigation is quite good as smooth as expected from a, from a redstone build we will now talk about the multitasking part let's talk about browsing is good this gives us a, an opportunity to check the mobile data connectivity so uh, we will talk about the Wi-Fi we will check how the mobile data thing works standard testing so let's go for HTML6 test.com let's see how the HTML6 test or how the score has improved or uh, what has happened to it let's find out so it's simple so as you can see the mobile data and the wi-fi both are working at least on our device with build 14951 now let's send it background let's open the store we will also uh, run a couple of games and then we will do multitasking to check the performance how it happens let's open this asphalt overdrive in the meantime we can talk about the battery life and the battery life has not been uh, quite good with the build 14951 for us so we uh, got this build installed and after that we can tell you that I mean, the battery life discharge has been faster as compared to build 14946 in our opinion. So while the 14946, uh, I mean, had more bugs, so it had even random reboot, which is not, which we have not seen on build 14951. So till now, the device has not rebooted on its own even once. But uh, if you talk about uh, the battery life, so the battery life has seen some kind of degradation okay. so asphalt overdrive is one of those games which are really not uh, uh, kind of uh, optimized for windows 10 mobile yet. Let's send it to the background. We will quickly open Subway Surfer, which is one of the recent and uh, optimized Windows 10 Mobile UWP game. So, if you see, if you can feel the difference. But from checking the performance and multitasking, it's like good to open one optimized and one non-optimized game. So.
so uh, as we were talking about the battery life so as we said the battery life is not as good as uh, we have seen uh, even on earlier builds so with 14951 you can notice that battery life or battery has discharged faster as compared to a, but i mean it's not panicky situation but like if you are getting uh, let's say 28 hours now you can get like 26 hours 25 hours Oh, okay. Send it to the background and when we can do the multitasking check. Let's see how the Cortana looks like once before starting with the multitasking, going ahead with the multitasking. So now let's quickly check. Uh, we can we can open the camera as well. Okay. Let's send it to the background. Now quickly check the multitasking part. So we can open the browser, the browser resume has been good, check the camera, resumes really fast, Cortana, good so far and then we can open this unoptimized game which is asphalt overdrive. It may take some time in resume because it's not Windows 10 mobile optimized game. So as expected, now we will try to resume the subway surfer. And it resumes really fast. So that's how the multitasking works. So you can see that still there are no uh, such issues like crashing of the apps etc it all is good in that way so it's surprisingly because you compare to 14946 there on, on that build we encountered many bugs so here you don't see those kind of random reboots etc which are like you can say to be major bugs when the mobile data wi-fi etc are working fine the only issue that we saw is with this app list scrolling so somehow feeling of like a stuck or uh, some kind of impacted uh, scrolling for this app list apart from that if we talk about bugs so bluetooth uh, with bluetooth we have seen uh, some crashes or uh, the connection not happening properly so that is one issue the mail issue i mean because last time the mail was very much impacted now it's working much better we have not seen many issues on, on the mailing part sharing has been impacted in this build and if you try to share sometimes you will see that while trying to attach something it may crash so those kind of issues are of course there so with that i mean we can just uh, <laughs> recommend that if you are like able to uh, update to 14951 then you should go because it's still better than 14946 which had many many more bugs so with that we come to end of this video hope you have liked it and stay tuned for more thanks for watching